Hey, this is Mikey with another After Effects tutorial. In this video, we're going to be making some generic movie titles. You can take them, tweak them, change them however you want for your next blockbuster you're creating. Now in this video, we're going to go over a bunch of little tips and tricks that I've discovered as I've been analyzing and creating some movie titles. And um, this isn't a particular movie at all. It's just kind of a generic one. A lot of movie titles kind of follow the same format of how they work in the trailers where they just boom and they announce the title of the film. And um, so this is kind of following lots of the same techniques and lots of the same things that most of them do. So Command N or Control N will give you the composition settings. Let's call this movie title. 1920 by 1080. It's a set of eight seconds long. Now to start off, I'm going to start with a background. And so if I hit Command or Control Y on the keyboard, it brings up my solid settings and I can create a new black solid. And I want it to be black. Click OK. BG for background. And let's um, create this background. So and then I'm going to duplicate that because I want to. And actually this one I need to have it a different color. So if I hit Command Shift Y, it'll bring back those solid settings. And let's turn that one white. Now I'm going to search for a an effect. It's under simulation, CC Starburst. I'm going to drop that onto the white one. And that's not quite what I want. So let's go in and let's take the grid spacing down. And then the size, let's say down to about 50. Mm, let's try 60. I just want a hint of stars. And then the speed is what I really need to change. It's set at 1, but I need to go 0 0.01. Maybe bring the size up a little bit. And the scatter out so there's less of them. Let's try 0 0.02. That's a better speed. Just a hint of the stars moving. And this is going to be the main background. So I'm going to go take these two, pre-compose it. So that's Command Shift C or Control Shift C if you're on Windows. Let's call this a star background. Hit OK. So that's kind of how we're going to be starting off. Now let's bring in our text. So just grab my text tool and let's give it a name. Let's call this one Cinema Spice, you know, because. And let's increase that up and let's do some things that, you know, you see in lots of movie titles. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to take the inside letters. And I'm going to make them smaller and then I'm going to bring them up. So over in the character palette, there's this has an A and then a little fraction kind of a thing. That changes where what where uh, vertically your letters are at. So I'm going to bring them up so it matches the top and I'm going to have to come in here and bring in a ruler. And I was just zooming in and it looks pretty good. I might have to just move it a tiny bit. Okay. So then I'm going to take this and let's maybe scale it up a little bit. I'm going to duplicate that, bring it down, just highlight everything, and let's type in the movie. And let's kind of center things out. Make sure they're centered. Okay. So there is our main titles, Cinema Spice and the movie. So I'm going to take both of these. I'm going to pre-compose it. Let's call this title. Next, I need to take this and I'm going to duplicate it. So duplicate the top title. Let's give it a new name. Let's call this Edges. Let's go ahead and hide the other title. And then I'm going to go to the color correction, give it a tint, and I just want to tint the whole thing black. Then I'm going to look for an effect. So I'm going over into the effects and presets and searching. This one is called Light Sweep. Drop it right on the edges. And you can start to see it's showing up again. And then I'm going to take this light sweep direction, bring that to zero, the width all the way wide, take the sweep intensity down to zero, and the edge thickness to about two. And I can bring the edge intensity up, maybe make it a little bit wider so it covers the whole thing. And this is just to create kind of edges to your titles. Little top edges, like if the light hits it, <clears throat> it's going to hit these edges first. And then since it's on black, what I want to do is I'm going to change this mode from normal to screen. 
and you're not going to see much yet, but you can see that star is showing through. Basically, I want this just to be the white edges. Now I'm going to take this edges and I'm going to parent it to the title. So then any movement or position changes to the title, the edges will follow with it. And that's what I want to do now is I'm going to come into the scale. I'm going to keyframe the scale and I'm going to scale this up. Not a whole lot. Now, next I need to take this main title and I'm going to turn it 3D. And the reason why we want it 3D is because I'm going to add a light. So if we go to layer, new, light, just make it a spotlight. Because it's 3D, the light now affects the text. So what I want to do is I'm going to move this light over to the right, up, and then take the Z position, bring it closer to the text, point of interest. I might have to move it out a little bit. There we go. I just want it to sweep right across the front of the text. So if I highlight the light layer, hit AA, it'll bring up my light options. Let's bring the cone angle in, increase the cone feather, and then if I hit R, it'll bring in my orientation and rotation options, and you can see, I want to bring it out a little bit. You can see I can rotate this in, and I want to rotate this in so it's highlighting it pretty good, and then I need to change the light options again. Make the angle a little bit bigger. Maybe bring this out. All right, now let's go back into the orientation. There we go. So basically what I want to do is I want to use the light to reveal the text to give it kind of a very organic looking reveal. So after about one and a half seconds is when we want this to reveal. So I'm going to go to that point. I'm going to keyframe the orientation, move back to the beginning. And that moves on. Let's go to the end and then we can have it animate off. Okay, so reveals on, slowly moving, and reveals off. And there's your title. Now if I look at this, I don't like to see this light, all these lines here. So the hotkey to hide those is Command Shift H. If you're on a PC, then it's going to be Control Shift H. And that just hides that line. Now what it's also going to do is I can't see any of the edges. So like on this, I can't see the bounding box or the anchor point or anything like that. So if I want to see that, then I need to go Command Shift H again, brings it back up, and I can see that. But just to hide that light, that's how you do that. So let's open the, turn that, those edges back on, hide my light. And I want this, these edges, these light edges, to kind of fade on about the same way as the main title, but just a little bit differently. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the light sweep and I'm going to keyframe the center. So let's go into where I want them to be on, hit the keyframe for the center, move off, and if I hit U on the keyboard, it'll show me the keyframes I've created. So I'm just adjusting the keyframe so the light comes on and then it kind of fills in the rest of the way. I want it to show these little edges a little bit first. I like that. Now then here at the end, I'm going to keyframe the same thing. The center, add a keyframe, but this time I'm going to move it off towards the right. Comes on, and and maybe I want this to kind of linger a little bit longer, like that. So you can see the main titles are kind of already starting to fade away, but you can still see these edges. Okay, that's looking pretty good. It's a really kind of a unique way of fading on. It's not the normal just fade on and off. Now let's add a little bit more to the background. I want to add kind of almost like a nebula type look. So I'm going to create a new solid, just make it black. And on this, let's add some noise, some turbulent noise. Let's go in, soft linear is fine. Let's change this to dynamic progressive. 
I want to come into the transform and increase this a lot and increase the contrast. And then I'm going to take this black solid. I'm going to add another effect under generate four color gradient. Let's go down to the blending mode. Click multiply and it's starting to look like this. Now what I can do is I'm going to take say this yellow, make that black and maybe this blue, make that black as well. Let's change this green. I want maybe kind of like a rust color. Let's change this purple, maybe an orangish. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take the toggle and switches and modes, switch this to lighten. Let's see what screen looks like. I like screen. And it's starting to look more kind of like a space um, scene. So I'm going to take the opacity. If I hit T on the keyboard, it brings up the opacity. Bring that down a little bit. And I think I might come in here and parent this to the main title. So there's going to be a little bit of a scale going on with this. Let's go into the turbulent noise and let's keyframe the evolution. So hit the keyframe for evolution. We'll go to the end. We'll change the evolution just oh so slightly. And that's going to actually take a hit on your render and processing power quite a bit. Evolution takes a little bit of extra oomph in order to get it processed. So it's going to slow down dramatically after you do that. So maybe even bring this down just a little bit. I only want just a hint. Now I might even come in here and let's do a new adjustment layer. Let's take my circle mask, my ellipse tool, double click. It'll create a mask on that adjustment layer. So if we go to effect, color correction, and exposure, I'm just creating a quick vignette. I'm going to bring down the exposure, hit F on the keyboard, invert it, and feather it. That's going to darken the edges. And then one more, I'm going to go to Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. And let's add just a lens flare to this. If you've got optical flares or some other third-party lens flare package, it's probably going to look better. If you just have the built-in one, well, then you can use that as well. Um, what I like for the built-in, if I'm using just the built-in, I like to go to the 105 Prime. I'm going to move it off to the side just to get a hint of kind of a light going on. And we can bring down that blend a little bit. Let's take a look at this fully rendered out. Now two last things. Um, I want to go back to this black solid with the gradient on it and I want to maybe bring that up a little bit. I like kind of the colors that that pop up because of it. Uh, I maybe want to have this yellow not so intense and because I'm multiplying it and because I'm using the screen transfer mode in order to make that yellow just that yellow more transparent I just make it more black the more black it is it's going to be transparent so that's kind of a, a way of bringing down the intensity of that yellow without bringing down the intensity of the red now last thing is let's just add a a quick fade to this. Now instead of I could take all of this, pre-compose it, and then fade it, you know, change the opacity, but I need another way to do that without pre-composing. Let's grab, grab a black solid, bring it to the top, and then just change the opacity on that black solid. So start at 100%, bring it down to zero, and then at the end again from zero up to 100. So that's the tutorial. Again, this is just a generic titles. You can use it in movies. You can use it in teaser trailers. You can move use it if you're doing any sort of uh, graphical video where you need to announce a new topic or anything where you need some titles and you want to add a little bit of pizzazz or spice to it. Um, this is a good way of doing that. So what I don't want you to do is to copy this exactly. Just take the things you've learned and change it up a bit. Use different fonts. Um, maybe don't do a star background, but take the skills and adapt it to your own style and your own projects. So thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. Just put them down in the comments below. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel. We do two tutorials every week. 
Every Wednesday is quick tips, and on Fridays are longer tutorials like this one. And we have a lot of fun. So I hope you subscribe and enjoy hearing from you. Thanks again, and we'll see you next time.